This week, we're getting a first look at Poe's X-Wing and Star Wars Rise of the Resistance at Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. Plus, we put together a reading list for your next visit to Black Spire Outpost. This is the Star Wars Show. From the Lucasfilm headquarters in San Francisco, here's your hosts, Andy and Anthony. Hello and welcome to the Star Wars Show, the only Star Wars show on the internet that had to be hosted solo because our other host is busy pursuing legal action against a golden droid for damaging our sweet boy chopper. I told him it was a waste of time, but what do I know, right? Let's just get to the news. Are you loving the exclusive first looks at Marvel's Age of Resistance comics? Well, we have two more for you. Previews of both Age of Resistance Rey and Age of Resistance Rose Tico are available on StarWars.com right now. Both stories are set before The Last Jedi and will shine a new light on both characters. Rey's one-shot shows never-before-seen moments between Rey and General Leia Organa and follows Rey, Chewbacca, and R2-D2 on their adventure to find Luke Skywalker. Age of Resistance Rose Tico shows the close relationship Rose shares with her sister Paige on their home planet of Hayes Minor until the First Order tears their world apart. Both will hit store shelves September 18th. Star Wars Galaxy's Edge is now open in both Disneyland Park and Walt Disney World, but fans are still eagerly awaiting the opening of Star Wars Rise of the Resistance. The upcoming attraction, opening on December 5th at Walt Disney World and on January 17th, 2020 at Disneyland Park, will have guests join the Resistance and depart from Batuu in a transport ship to meet General Leia Organa at a secret rendezvous point, but instead get captured by the First Order and brought onto a Star Destroyer and placed right in the middle of a massive battle. Oh, what's, what's that cheese? Matt Martin of the Lucasfilm Story Group fell into a Sarlacc pit. Oh, you have a secret transmission for him for our friends at home to see? It's the first look at Poe's X-Wing from Star Wars Rise of the Resistance. Let's check that out. Hey Andy, I'm standing here in the queue for Star Wars Rise of the Resistance and check it out for the first time. It's Poe's X-Wing, full size, it is amazing. And you can see it soon at Star Wars Galaxy's Edge, live and in person. That's so cool, I can't wait to see it in person. And for more breaking news from around the galaxy, be sure to check out StarWars.com. The shields are down. There's so much. Carrie Fisher, I love you, I know. Luke, I'm your father. Yoda, when Yoda got crazy in the prequels and started flipping, because we had never seen Yoda move like that. Yoda's a very old man. And he got up. There's so much. I loved Queen Amidala. I loved her love story with Anakin. I hated what happened to Anakin. I had gotten that molten lava and just disappeared before our eyes. There's so much. There's so much. I love it so much. I'm Yvette Nicole Brown, and you're watching the Star Wars show. I love it so much. <laughs> I'm here at Star Wars Galaxy's Edge at Disney's Hollywood Studios, which just opened recently, and I'm going to talk to a few of the authors that helped expand the story of Batu. Let's go. We're here at Doc Ondar's shop with the creators of Star Wars Galaxy's Edge comic series, Ethan Sachs and Will Sliney. We're going to take a look at some of the props that you guys actually helped tell the backstories for. This little guy here shows up in the Star Wars Galaxy's Edge comic. Can you tell me a little bit about that story? Sure. I mean, I love the whole concept of the Sarlacc because Doc has all these cool relics. We thought it'd be a cool story to tell how he came to have it. And so, of course, Han Solo and Chewbacca, before they joined the Rebellion, they had to accept money from various shades sources. So one of the things we thought would be cool is seeing Han Solo trying to wrangle one of these. One of my favorite things about being a part of this series is getting to add a backstory to something like this. When you read the comic, you learn so much more about what this baby Sarah can do. <laughs> even though it's not what you see in episode six, this thing is lethal. So it was a lot of fun to draw, but it's even more fun when you get into Doc Ondor's den and you get to see the person. You actually got to work on a character that I voice in the park. I actually got to do the voice of Varg. No and way. you got to create what he yeah, looks yeah, like. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Uh, he looks nothing like me. He's a little now we're here with Zoraida Cordova, writer of Star Wars Galaxy's Edge, A Crash of Fate. Can you tell us a little bit about your story? I would love to. A Crash of Fate is about two unlikely friends who are on Black Spire Outposts. They have 24 hours to deliver a very important parcel or die trying. And of course, mayhem ensues. Mayhem always ensues in Star Wars. Yes. And we're here in front of the Trillion Wishing Tree, and I know that has a special moment in your book. It does. The Trillion Wishing Tree is very special to the people of Batu. It is a place where locals go and tie ribbons, and they make wishes on it. So Izzy and Jules, the characters of my book, are making a wish, and it means something very special to them because it brings together their past and the possibility of their future. Now I'm here with Delilah Dawson, 
writer of Star Wars Galaxy's Edge, Black Spire. Can you tell us a little bit about your book? Black Spire takes a character that we brought to life for Star Wars Phasma, Vi Marathi, General Organa's best resistance spy. She sends Vi to a remote location the First Order should never look for anyone here, and it ends up being Black Spire Outpost to build a resistant encampment and to recruit some warm bodies for the resistance. I mean, if it wasn't for her, we wouldn't even have a location to stand in front of. We wouldn't. You'll find out in Black Spire if you read it, which you should because there's so many Easter eggs. You'll find out where Savvy gets his lightsaber part. You'll also find out where we got this tower because Vi is responsible for sourcing this. This is all Vi's handiwork. Thanks so much for joining me. You can learn more about Star Wars Galaxy's Edge and those books and more, all available at bookstores right now. You're watching the Star Wars show. It looks like Matt had a lot of fun at Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit jealous. But now the Black Spire Outpost has been bringing in visitors for a while in both Disneyland and Walt Disney World, we want to know what your favorite thing about visiting is. Let us know using the hashtag SWSBatsYouVisit and we'll feature our favorites here next week. And as always, remember to like the video, subscribe to the channel, follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. And even though they're fine and dandy, they're not candy. Thanks for watching and may the force be with you. Droid Courts after this. Star Wars Rise of the Resist- uh, Rise of the Resistance. Bringing in visitor- uh, uh. Like, so much room for activities, but it's weird doing this alone.